Very bland looking planet. You would kind of expect it to be a desert almost, but it's not. And it's nice though how they start you with rapid fire. At least here you have kind of a fighting chance if you die and have to start back at the beginning. You can immediately pick up six rapid fires. That gets you halfway to your rapid fire goal. There's a lot to explore right here. This is a smaller version of the dragon enemy I was talking about in Marble Aura. They have them here, but they're smaller. They're easy to kill. They just kind of float around. They, in fact, they kind of float in kind of the same pattern that the Marble Aura guys did. They're just about a third of the size is all. There are a lot of nooks and crannies to explore in this place, and I don't know if we'll get to them all, but they're definitely worth looking into mostly. You could probably take, like, nine different routes through a sluggy on level and still not find everything. So uh, we're going to be extra deliberate in our search today. These bat guys, they have kind of a strange trajectory and uh, and uh, not really, I, well their speed is somewhat predictable if you watch them. That's the thing. Okay, this is going to be like scrap rap where those slugs are just spawning out of nowhere and if they don't spawn the first time, but if we come back or something they'll be around. Okay, I don't want to get up there just yet, so let's keep a stream of bullets going. Let's keep a wall of bullets going like this until this platform comes back. Comes back to pick us up and drop us off at a new place where we get invincibility. This is uh, this is fairly easy to waste around here, actually. Because uh, if we're going to be in such an exploratory mood, this out here, this is, this is the big stuff right here. Oh, hey. Were you there the first time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I just wasted that in a huge way. Oh, hey! Spikes that were actually fake? Wow. Okay, well, uh, I was a little bit scared there for a moment, but I think I just made a circle in the beginning. Is there anything out there? See, this is the thing. You can get really... Not, like, lost stuck, but you can get really stuck on a sluggy on level. It's the kind of... It's the kind of level that really rewards intense exploration. But, uh, I... I feel like there's something out there that I'm missing, and uh, I'll only go out there one more time, but I'll just make a huge leap of not being awesome. That sucked. That was awful. Oh god, I've wasted enough time already. But fortunately, time is a luxury we have all of on the easy difficult thing, which is exactly why I played on easy. Did I get hit at some point by something? I guess by like a passing slug. It's hard to tell when slugs are coming at you or when you've touched something around here that can that's bad it's just ah kind of a funky place sluggy on very very shifty and hey grab his gamepad and a carrot i don't actually need the carrot but okay whatever see if i just okay yeah if i just take that thing up i get 30 launchers probably two of which i'm going to actually use okay platform platform you should be coming to save me here about now there we go there we go that easy does it that is easily the most part of the sluggy on right there the ending part of the song that has the long really held like 50 zillion measure notes see like we're at the halfway point i could easily go down if i wanted to and explore probably tons of stuff down here hey funky little bat guy that is kind of hard to hit because of he's hiding in a platform. There's, there we go, there's those game controllers. Plug you into a parallel port and start blasting. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, this is one of those big open-ended vertical parts. I feel like I could have really done some major exploring if I had gone on from the halfway point, but uh, maybe we can make our way back. That is the thing about Slugion. For all its expansiveness, it's pretty easy to get back to places you accessed uh, earlier. In a, I'm not really interested in going down bottom. I want to get out in the sky part. There we go. I am back up here. All right, nice. Oh, hey. There we go. Now, there is some. Always be shooting at the walls around here. There's like probably a zillion different walls that'll bust open and allow you to get stuff inside. And yeah, just because of the little red bat guys, always have your gun going because, yeah, you never know when they're going to charge in like that and just ruin your shit. There we go. I Man, I'm surprised I haven't gotten hit yet. There, all right. Then that was definitely worth coming to. What's even higher up? What am I not reaching up there? See, that's the thing. This level makes you really curious. 
this is the kind of this is the kind of level where you can see stuff. Wow, why didn't they end that over by the spikes? That was that's a bit of funky, weird, not great design there. See what is up there? That and all it takes is me just jumping up a little bit to figure it out. See any level, any part of Sluggy on, you can just spend minutes upon minutes on. Launcher? There we go. There's one of my used launchers. One of my projected used launchers. Okay, they wouldn't put a spring up there if you couldn't blast through that. What's what's going on here? Oh my gosh. This is not This is not gonna be in any way productive if I jump over that thing, is it? Oh, hey, there we go. The idea is to go to the right. Okay, I see. I gotcha. Okay, now I can just get up in there. Alright. Now, if I get on this thing and hold right once Hmm. Okay, but I can get on that one. Now, if I hold right again... Man, this place... This place just gets curiouser and curiouser. This is where I drop now, finally, and I actually start moving on. But you can kill those guys, actually, I guess, in one fell swoop. If you're willing to sacrifice a bit of fire shield, which I am, because I've been really careful... And there's probably another one coming up soon anyway. Although, I'm not 100% positive on that. Let's go ahead and, uh, wow. Between me and Hip Hop, we are really, uh, we're really taking some dragon guys to town. Now we can go back in and start freely exploring the bottom. Okay. There we go, man. I kind of wish I'd been hit at some point because, uh, they are really being generous with the carrots that I don't actually need for any kind of completion bonus. And rapid fires, and oh man, they're just they're just gonna hook me up with all kinds of stuff if I'm willing to explore, which I most definitely am. Cause holy moly, hey slug that I wasn't expecting. Whoa, 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 whoa! How do I get in behind that? Thing? Okay, okay, the slugs are spawning in the funkiest places, and I'm not digging it. Okay, get me in through there. Get me in. Get me in. Get me in. Hey, I somehow killed that guy, though. Unless there's... Did I miss a thing? Yeah, I have no idea how to get past that spring other than brute force, which doesn't appear to be working. There we go. So if I hold down on the keyboard, I guess I can... I guess I can uh, lower the amount of boost I get off of a spring. Now, he is very funky situated. Yeah, see, just all kinds of stuff around here. It's so great to just... I've been kind of thinking that some of these jazz episodes have been short, and I've been waiting for a place that really rewards this sort of exploration, so I'm really happy to have finally gone to Sluggy on. This is a planet that I'd never really appreciated the first time around. And I can get back up here. See? It's just so generous. Wow. And I'm finding stuff I've never found before. This is this is insanely awesome. We, uh, we might want to launch her him before we go back, because I think I just took a hit off. There we go. I, and I am way past my requisition amount of launchers, even though I've got, like, God knows how many at this point. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, no, I don't think so. Well, nobody died, so, uh, good job, Hip Hop, I guess. But there goes my fire shield. I need to find another one of those Pronto Tonto, because now, now is the point where I'm starting to get, uh, a little shaky, just... Okay. Alright, let's get this guy. A shoe. Yeah, I can really imagine a shoe being useful around here. Well, with all the spike pits and the platforms that you have to wait all nice like on. Hey! Come on! Quit weaving around so I can hit you. Oh, but there is invincibility to go with it, though, so maybe it is worth it. I think I'm gonna take the plunge. Yeah, okay, there we go. Just make a straight run. Now, maybe if I'm fast, I feel like there's something at the end of the level. There we go. I was going to say, there's something at the end of the level you can get if you keep the shoe around long enough, but there we go. It was just launchers. I thought it was something much more momentous for some reason. And stop shooting, see if there's anything behind the wall here. There most certainly is. A one-up. Golly. I had no idea you could really rack up the one-ups around here. There's lots of them, though. See... Even as much exploring as I did, spending nearly 10 minutes on that one level alone, uh, I still somehow only found 80-some percent of everything. If we were grading, I'd have gotten a B on my exploration. And my job someday 
maybe on my own time is to get an A, but I just don't have the time or the wherewithal or the inclination at this particular moment, and uh, judging by the amount of hits I'm getting on this series, neither do a lot of people. Not that I'm sad about it, I love this game and I'm going to continue playing whatever I want, but it's, uh, it's hard not to wish that a few more people were watching it, I suppose. Is there any way I can make... Yes, there we go. I was like, there's got to be some way to make that jump right. This is launcher heaven up in here. If I just keep... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm kind of talking myself hoarse here, actually. <laughs> Woo! It is really... I'm making it look easy, but it's actually really tough to get your footing on those things. Okay, and I can't jump up through the column. You can actually... You can walk through these things, but they have a solid top, so you can't actually can't actually keep going on them. This seems like not... Oh, hey, I was going to say, this seems like not such a great idea, but if I die, I know where to get set up. Yes, sir! Thank you, Slug, for kicking me out of that little place. That was exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to explore at all, so thanks for nothing, jerk. I feel like I missed a lot of stuff, but I guess in the end, ultimately, it doesn't really matter. Lincoln Park would certainly agree with me. They would also be crawling in their skin right about now. Pop, 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 pop. I don't want to land on a slug who has somehow fallen down and ended up in this little area. Okay, so we can get back up and around. Good. Goody, goody gumdrops. And now we play the minor waiting game. Ah, dang it, I hate it when that happens when you get passed off to another platform. You don't just go through them. I got it real. Oh, crap. See, that one just that bad. Some of them you gotta watch out for like that. They just zip around. Yes, this is uh, carrot finding time right here. Let's uh, let's get on the move. Let's get hunting. And there we go. There's, uh, there's our red gym. Now, if we can figure out a way to get to that, then we ought to be golden. I think it's going to involve launchers somehow. There we go. Yes. Now, I'm not going to get totally... Okay, good. I was going to say, I don't want to get slugified going down in here. Now we just look for the invisible passage, pretty much, right? And uh, it's completely in an area that's not in my purview, so I'm going to have to really look around for that thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not feeling good at this point. Oh, here we go. It's just an invisible thing. Okay, there we go. Kind of like that one up in the Technor Secret level. It's just... Once you get down in the bottom, there's a hidden passage, and it's really easy. So, hopefully, I can uh, hang on to precious life long enough to... This seems like the kind of place where I need to put up a wall of bullets. Am I correct in that assumption? Hey, little turtles running around in a pack, probably getting ready for a little turtle kindergarten. You are not going to go to turtle kindergarten any longer, because they teach terrible things there. And I'm here to indoctrinate you with bullets. Da, 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 keeping up my defenses. Okay, yeah, this is the this we're getting to the part of the we're getting to the part where I need to uh, duck just to see. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh thank goodness! Well, not thank goodness because now I have no access to that uh that little treasure trove of rapid fires if I happen to die, and uh, death is looking more and more imminent all the time. Shit, I don't want to lose my rapid fire. Uh, oh, good. I didn't even have to do that little segment. I could have just shot through the wall. Fuck you, game. <laughs> but not like, not like in the way that, huh? Okay. No way in the foreseeable future that I'm getting up there, I don't think. Hello, dragon guy. Gonna have to be really careful going down this hill, because I think there's more than a few of those guys around. Okay, or maybe just the one. That's also great. Let's see if I can uh, pop down by holding down again. Hold down and right and keep my bullets going because I see a little bat dude. There we go. All right. For some reason, I feel like staying low to the ground will help me find carrots, but obviously it's not. So, uh, wall of stuff. Okay, this is going to be one of those parts where slugs just rain down out of the sky in it. And as soon as I jump, one's going to nail me. Is that it? Uh, or maybe not. I still have a, I still have paranoia. I still have lingering residual scrapper rat paranoia. So, oh yes, here we go. 
Time to start running and gunning and finding, hopefully, a carrot. I am... Now that I... <laughs> I always waste carrots when I need them the most. And now, now that I'm trying to find one, holy crap, a lot of spikes. Do not want to waste any time no more. Just like the Almond Brothers. Ain't wasting time no more. Unless I am going to about to be wasting time dying, but yeah. When I don't need carrots, they're everywhere, and I just waste fully collect them. But now that I actually need one, they're nowhere to be found. That's that's about the long and short of it. That is the life story of Jess right there. Okay, and those bad guys can stay out of my way. Yeah, even a even a fake wall passage, nothing. Nothing but ammunition that is going to be no good to me if I bite the dust. There we go. There's a carrot down there. I need to jump and make sure this guy dies. Sorry for the, uh, sorry for the epilepsy fit. Okay, make sure I don't... No! <laughs> yeah, I don't care anymore. Alright, I'm more or less in the same situation, except now I don't have ammunition rapid fire, and I just got pretty much face fucked by a... Buy a bad thing, yeah. Uh, on, you need to end. See, what's that doing over there, that carrot thing? How do I get to that carrot? That carrot would have come in handy like a bazillion years ago, probably. And now it's a lot harder to kill the uh, floating dragon guys, too, because I don't have rapid fire on my side. Maybe I should have just come over here the whole time. How did I squeeze up through him without getting hit? Yeah, I probably should have uh, trusted my instincts as far as lower lower road taking goes if i had been a little more exploratory you know like i went ahead and been this whole time then uh yeah now this carrot is useless to me and maybe i wouldn't have been in this predicament earlier but that's my fault i suppose hey guy see now i now i have to tap the button and it's really aggravating and annoying and I'm, <laughs> I'm like regressing to southern speech patterns at this point. I, I can't take the time to say aggravating. Everything, everything is now aggravating. Whoa, where did, where did you come from, vertical ledge? You would have been nice to have around earlier. And if I had, uh, okay, yeah, okay. Now I'm really not wasting time with this thing. Since I don't have any ammunition anyway, it'd be best to just fly the frig out of here. There, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, uh, well, uh, well, I got pretty reasonably far, but yeah, I, well, I could complain about too many blind drops, but yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful right there, that slug blends in with the scenery, he's, he's not what you call a cool guy, he is, a, he is, as certain of us among the population would say, he is a jerkus Malarcus, and I think there was a slug there, but I have no idea. See, that's why you have your gun charging at all times, because you never know who's pretty much going to slaughter you. Is this a good place for a shoe or not? Or should I just really just get out of the... Okay, no, this looks like a good place for a shoe, actually. Is there anything up the way if I can manage to jump that high? It looks like there might be, actually. Well, I've got green energy and no enemies around, so I say worth it if I can nail the jump, but I don't think there's actually anything up there. Okay, here we go. If we go up in this little... Yep, this is going to be hard to do with a shoe in it. Okay, yeah, that's just... That's a bunch of nothing on the outside. Oh, hey. No, I lost my shoe. I was going to say, if I don't lose my shoe, I can probably get something nice right around the way of the exit and a bunch of invincibility that's totally useless to me at this point that's great yeah i totally waste this shoe because now i can't get up there or there and i think there's a one up up there in fact i think if you're fast enough you can even get over on the boundary of the level and die by falling in a pit which pits only really exist as a function of of a uh, of the boundary of the level and if you can somehow find your way out onto the boundary of a level then you can uh, kill yourself. Actually, kill yourself twice because you die twice when you fall in a pit because it's a kind of glitchy thing that you're not supposed to do. But enough talking out of me. And uh, we lost our chance at a bonus game too, so we're not going to get to play the bonus game because I died. So we'll see you next guys next time at the Dream Pipes. Yeah, whoa. Pitiful, pitiful total. Yikes. <laughs>